morning folks. This morning soap is brought to us by TFS. And I think this one's pronounced Grand Decado Toscano. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> this one here's got about five ounces of soap in it. That's what it looks like there on the inside. It's fairly firm on the in the container, but it's easy to scoop out. <laughs> got the uh, Allen plug. No rubber band this morning. Methylated wish hazel that's black eye scented. And got the matching aftershave here. And uh, it does have the profile there on the side. If I remember right, uh, as it goes for scent, and I've got it down below because I'm not, I'm sure I'm not going to remember all of it. Um, kind of using this as a hint here. If I remember, this, I think it's got, see, I've, it's got rosemary, thyme, thyme, um, pepper. There's, I think there's more. I just can't remember all of it. But anyhow, I'll have it down below. And off camera, I'll be using the Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. Um, I got it whipped up here in a uh, wooden bowl here that I got from the, uh, the Extinctive Goat. This one here is, uh, yeah, the walnut and uh, cherry wood. And it's whipped up here with a uh, horsehair brush. Pretty nice brush. I like this one here. Got this one here from the uh, Modern Man. It's a UK website. And this one here is the Schick. Um, this is a copy of the Schick Injector L1. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. If you were to put them side by side and you know give them a good look, you can see some little differences here and there. But just you know a quick look, they look pretty much almost identical. There there are some differences though. If you get it and you take a moment to look at them side by side, you can see little differences here and there. But uh, overall, you know they're pretty much identical. Go ahead and get started with what's left over with the cube here. Already put a hot towel to the face this morning, and today is Thursday for me. All right, we'll go ahead and get started with this. And um, as it goes for the do the two shave very close to being the same, more or less. I don't know that there's that if there's a difference. If there is, it's a uh, we're only talking about a small difference. Uh, both of them are fairly mild shavers, in my opinion. If you're looking for an, uh, a more aggressive uh, shake injector, you probably want to go with a Type E. That would be the direction you want to go if you're looking for something a bit more aggressive. But, um... Also, uh, if I remember right, uh, Douglas has sold out of these uh, shavers. But when he does get them in stock, I think they were running right around the $18 mark. So that would be a new one versus a vintage one, which would run you about near the same price, maybe a little bit more, depending on the condition, you know. I say the you know, time of the year you buy it and so on and so forth, you know. There's factors. But um, as it goes for, are they... They're not exactly the same, though. I mean, in the way they're made. That's just something you have to keep in mind. Like I say, there are some little small differences here and there. In the way of construction and uh, you have to put them side by side in order to notice the differences that was the only way I could tell the differences I mean just had a quick look they look the same but when you get to uh, get a really close look just little things here and there you can tell they're different and for some folks that might be all the difference in the world Smells great. I've had this soap for just a little while, and so uh, you may have a little bit of a tough time finding it. I've got a link. I'll put a link down below for to a website that 
I found uh, that has some, but you might have to hunt, you know, the words, one website for the soap, and another website for the uh, aftershave or something of the sort. It just depends on where you're, I guess you might say what part of the world you're shopping, shopping from online. But it's, um, I think it's referred to as an autumn type scent. And for me, I don't, uh, I use it whenever I'm in the, in the mood for it. So that's how I pretty much operate, I guess you might say. I do like the soap, though, the scent. It has a, a little bit of a fruit smell to it, which to me at this time of the year is pretty good to be using. Horse hair brushes. Not the easiest to come by either. Uh, this one here that I've got. Not always in stock at the Modern Man. And that particular one with that handle, in other words, just finding it, period, is not an easy chore. And in some cases, you know, the, when you do find it, it's not horse hair, but it may be badger. And... Uh, which, you know, the price is quite a bit different in between the badger and the horse hair. But I like that style. This handle's pretty nice. I like it. It, it works well for me. That and the knot size. Um, it's not the biggest knot in the world by any means. And uh, I do have a tendency to like those size knots that are on the smaller side. I don't remember what size it is. I'm wanting to say, can't remember, I think it's 20 millimeter, I think. I don't remember right offhand. It's not real big. But the smaller ones do work well for me. My nose is working pretty good. Boy, yesterday was a rough day with my nose. It was, um, in other words, blowing my nose quite a bit. And, um, it must have done some good yesterday because today I can smell the soap without a problem. Face is feeling pretty good so far. For me, uh, this soap, TFS soap, um, is a pretty good value. Especially if you're a bargain hunter and you're patient and persistent, uh, usually you can find it on sale somewhere. Usually. Of course, you know, the risk is that you're going to wait too long. <laughs> like I say, you may have to go to one site for one and another website to another. So if you're wanting a match, if you will. Little bit of feedback. The um, one of the biggest differences that you'll notice if you put them side by side is right here along the the safety bar, um, and just the way it's manufactured. There you see little uh, I don't know what you want to call them bumps, humps, right there near the blade. And I'm sure this just for manufacturing really has nothing to do with the shave itself because it's not touching your skin or anything like that. But, you know, like I see, you got to put them side by side and take a moment to, you know, take a look at it to tell the differences. And I don't know. I can't tell the difference in weight.
I guess you might say in order to tell if they're identical, you have to put them side by side. But they look pretty darn close. It's amazing sometimes how uh, a copy will get very close to the original. And it'd be hard to just to look at the the copy without the original next to it and see if you can even figure out what the differences are. Sometimes he had just to shave with it, just to be able to tell the difference. Because most of us know it's just all about the, a, ba a blade gap will make a difference on how it shaves. It'll look very much like the original, but that blade gap will make a big difference. It has been a lot of fun shaving with these. That research and all the uh, differences and how you can tell them apart when they look so much as the, so much alike. One shake injector to compared to another shake injector smells great. Can't believe it! I actually can smell it this morning. <laughs> My nose was awful yesterday. Just a little bit of feedback on the against screen pass. Just a little. This being Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Friday's the last day of the month, so December will be here before you know it. Start on that path of uh, shaving with DEs. It just comes up so quick. That's the reason why I try to start doing some planning ahead of time because <laughs> before you know it, December's here and you're like, you're not even ready for it. Christmas will be here before you know it. It's fat, that's it's so quick. No, November, December is like boom, boom. Here and gone. Felt like a pretty smooth shave. Try to work in the uh, different angles so that way I don't have any of the, I guess you might say, the typical pickups that I may have along the jawline. In other words, get a little bit closer. Oh, yeah, that's pretty darn smooth. <laughs> it depends. In other words, if you were to ask me which one do I recommend, one or the other, I think it has a lot to do with what your preference is in between the two. Uh, I do like the modern shavers. I don't have anything against them. Matter of fact, I've got enough of them. I do like them. But uh, when I'm looking at the same price in between them, it's a really a hard choice. Uh, I'd have to say it's a it'd be a personal preference because um, if I'm looking at them and uh, like this one here, this one's in pretty good shape. It's it's not bad shape at all. And uh, I'd have to say, for me, I enjoy shaving with a piece of hi shaving history. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of hard to explain, explain unless you know, you guess you might say you've been bitten by the bug. <laughs> enjoy the the shaving with the uh, piece of history. It's uh, nothing like it. I guess you might say the passion of the of the history of, from the razor and uh, 
so I do lean more towards a uh, the classic shaver but on the other hand I do like the modern ones also in other words uh, for instance um, when it comes to uh, injectors I have a uh, supply injector that I just really do like um, compared to a shaver like this the difference is night and day uh, this one here is very much lightweight in comparison to the um, supply injector that supply injector uh, it has quite a bit of weight behind it and compared to between the two um, one thing that I feel like is also a plus in the way of the uh, supply injector is a uh, matter of fact I should shave with it tomorrow tomorrow I was kind of up in the air whether I will use a pal a pal injectomatic or the the supply I think I'm going to shave with the supply because um, it's going to be a good long moment it's been a while since I shaved with it anyway but the uh, the upside in my opinion of the supply injector is not only its construction, in other words, it's very well made, it's heavy, it's got a lot of weight behind it. Um, the part that I like about it is that you can use it as what I would refer to as a typical injector. Put the key in, push your blade in, you can do it that way. And the way I do it, believe it or not, this way I can use my uh, mini hair shaper blades, which are injector blades. The dispenser just doesn't have the key or the stem. And I take that blade from the mini hair shape, shaper dispenser. I just place it in the plate, put it all together, and I'm ready to go. And for me, um, <laughs> hey, that way I can use those mini hair shaper blades in my uh, uh, supply injector and save my others that are in the dispenser that's got the stem or the key uh, for those uh, injectors like this that need the key. And um, that's just for me. That's what I do because I've got, you know, both dispensers and um, just something that I do. But I, that's just one more plus for the uh, supply injector. Um, I really like that shaver. That's uh, it's one of the most expensive shavers I have in the den. But uh, I waited for it to be on sale. I got all three plates with it. And typically, for the most part, I leave it on the Classic and shave with it. If you have some issues with the uh, with the classic, maybe you know, in other words, the going with the uh, the one dot instead of the two dot, the two dot being the classic, that would be a, a better way to go. But boy, howdy, I enjoy my shaves with that shaver. Uh, it is such a joy. I get good shaves. It doesn't matter what plate. Just you know, pick one, and I'm I'm good to go. And with a shaver like that, you definitely want to keep in mind um, letting the weight of the shaver, the sharpness of the blade, to do the work for you. In other words, gentle pressure with that shaver because it is such a heavy weight. Put too much weight, on, uh, too much pressure on that shaver, you're going to notice. It. You're going to end up with um, <laughs> weepers, maybe even a cut. I mean, it's uh, it is something that you know you have to you know be very much aware of your technique. That's Thor. He's swatting at me underneath the door. He's wanting to come in. Eric, I had a great shave. This, uh, like I say, when he does get it back in, I think it's right around, I think it's $17.95 or something like that. Right around $18. It's not really expensive, so if you wanted it to give it a try, you're unsure of it, um, it's not really expensive to give it a good try. Uh, you're not adding a whole lot of money if it doesn't work out for you. Uh, like I say, with something like this here, though, there's there's at least two different kinds of blades that are made for these injectors. One's Schick and the other one's Persona. I lean towards the Persona instead of the Schick. I've had issues with the Schick blades in the past, and I haven't had a lick of trouble out of Persona blades. Not a dud, not, not an issue, not one. And uh, not only that, you could get more for your money, better value. Had a great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shades to you.